Hey guys, and welcome back to Diku Tarot and to your weekly tarot reading and astrology for April 27th through May 2nd of 2020. Last week of April, we're in Taurus season. I have my George Costanza candle here, my Lamb of God Costanza here that I got for my birthday. 2020, it was supposed to be the summer of George. <laughs> So I put that up here um, just for the astrology half. I'll probably take it away when we get into the readings just because I don't want to waste any bit of this. I love this. And I did get it for my birthday this past week. So um, happy birthday to all Tauruses celebrating as well. Um, let's get into your astrology here. If you haven't, do make sure to subscribe. Do make sure to share the videos if you enjoyed it. And check out your readings for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. If you want to book a private reading, all my info is below. And I am taking 20% off during this pandemic time. And I'll talk a little bit about the astrology um, analysis through Truly Divine and how you can get 30% off at the end, okay? So let's get into this here with the astrology, all right? Monday, April 27th, um, we're starting off the week with the moon in Cancer. <clears throat> You also have Mercury moving into Taurus, which is pretty big here. So that's going to bring about a lot more prudent, methodical, practical thinking and execution. We're going to be a lot more tenacious, unlikely to change our mind and where we're directing our energy at this time. Um, we're going to be taking our time to establish conclusions and judgments with Mercury and Taurus um, because it does bring up this more dogmaticism, this slow, silent processes that are going to be a lot more common in terms of making a decision, changing direction, in terms of, you know, again, where we're directing our energy in um, general here. So judgments formed during this time will probably end up sticking and not changing. On uh, Tuesday, April 28th, we have a couple of things here, mostly small stuff until Wednesday. Um, sun and Taurus sextiling the moon and Cancer, bringing up equality and ability to deal well with all. Um, we're going to be feeling at home and looking um, towards friends and family for any support or help at this time. We also have Mercury and Taurus squaring Saturn and Aquarius, bringing up some more quarrelsome, greedy, and suspicious energies. Um, Wednesday, April 29th, which is going to be pretty big here, we do have Saturn retrograding um, beginning on Capricorn. I feel like I said that super weird. Saturn retrograde begins on Capricorn. All right. I feel like you can't say it right anyway. Um, anyways, delays um, resulting um, in your long-term plans. Um, fear of failure might come up here and this more self-deprecation provoking a lot of self-punishment. So watch out for that while Saturn retrograde, um, Saturn's retrograding in Capricorn at this time. I'm not sure exactly when that ends. For some reason, I didn't write it down. I do apologize. Um, so let's move on now here. We also have the moon in Cancer on that same day opposite Pluto and Capricorn bringing up more one-sided views of emotions, feeling dejected, and having more um, addictions to pleasure and self-indulgence as a reaction. We also have the moon in Leo opposite Saturn and Aquarius on this day, bringing again this, um, this dissatisfied, introverted, more depressed, and you know low energy due to perceived restrictions here. Um, so Wednesday could be a little bit ugh. Um, Thursday, April 30th, we have the moon in Leo squaring Mercury in Taurus here. So spiritual gifts and are going to be in focus here and we're going to be less superficial and hasty. We also have the moon in Leo squaring Uranus in Taurus, um, which is going to bring up eccentric, headstrong, capricious, intense energy here. Could also bring up some derailments of relationships. So watch out for that. We also have Mercury in Taurus conjuncting Uranus in Taurus. So both of them being in Taurus, it's going to make us more progressive, um, uncontrolled conventional, creative, inventive, and intuitive here. Um, it's going to bring up this more adaptability and agile mindset, which is interesting for all this Taurus energy, but Uranus and Taurus really brings in that opposite again, adaptable, um, non-traditional energy. So we're going to be ignoring the traditional here. Um, and that's pretty much all the big stuff going on this week in terms of astrology. So from here forward, we're going to be talking the tarot for the week. All right. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're looking with the Gustav Klimt deck here at your week ahead. All right, so let's start pulling and see what comes up here for you, Sagittarius. All right. good so far it's been pretty good for you guys I feel like lately for whoever's energy whatever Sag I'm picking up on I feel like it's been good let's see let's look at 
one at a time, guys. Oh my gosh. Just a few more cards here. Alright, some nice cards this week for you guys. So, um, let's see here. We get the High Priestess as your general theme for the week here. As you can see, she's got a book in her hand. She's thinking, she's looking very intensely and she does hold the mysteries here is kind of what you get um, with the High Priestess. Hold on. Alright, sorry Sages. Um, There we go. The High Priestess here brings up this higher self intuitive energy here this week where your higher self and your intuition is going to be factoring very strongly into how you make decisions, into how you're feeling. So pay attention in those realms here because she's got all the answers. So anything you're feeling confused or lost on, you know, sit in silence, take it slower. It is Taurus season and really sit and think about this. Maybe meditate, write some stuff down. You have the answers to whatever it is that you seek this week. And you might even feel some things coming through. So write down what comes through this week. Write down if you have your dreams, if you're thinking something, feeling something, pay attention to it and explore that a little deeper. How you're feeling is absolutely beautiful this week. Your emotions, your feelings emotionally here are 10 of cups. That's happiness, camaraderie, love. You'll be feeling very at home, very happy with those around us. This is really just the highest level of love and happiness. It's contentment it's joy it's absolute bliss in our hearts in our feelings in our emotions it's really what emotional richness the emotional capacity has like really been fulfilled you're feeling very emotionally fulfilled at this time by the people around you by your friends your family your loved ones um if you're in a relationship you're feeling very loved but i feel like a lot of you guys are really connecting in the heart spaces and really just feeling the love of the friends of your group of your community right now so you're feeling very loved and you're ready to give that love back out so this is really really beautiful career is looking great for you as well four of wands um for those of you who are wondering you know am i leaving am i staying what's going on with this job situation four of wands um indicates bliss celebration success it's things coming into alignment into balance it's also for me um a card of kind of breaking through to that glass ceiling, that place that you've been wanting to get to and finally celebrating that. You know, it's um, a time of celebration because things have been brought into a place of true balance, true accord. Um, and it's really, really lovely because Four of Rods is again very well earned harvest, very bountiful. It brings about a lot of prosperity, a lot of connection. And with career and work being the way it is right now, and Four of Wands also kind of representing home and not really changing, not moving too far. It's not like a Fours are never a card of like intense progression. It's really just about you know celebrating where we've made it to how far we've come so celebrate yourself feel really at home feel secure feel safe because you deserve it right now okay this is good and also if you're working from home you're really loving it i think okay so love and relationship are also looking really great here hero font and six of swords hero font asks you to take things slower it is traditionally the card of taurus even though i see it more as empress he is a more traditional path kind of dude here he looks at you know in terms of education and learning, you know, he goes to a mentor, he looks at things from a more practical standpoint, um, you know, getting that traditional education. Sometimes he talks about bigger companies, schools, things that are very well established. But overall, if you're dealing with a Taurus, there's a lot of love there right now. Um, or again, you're moving on from the more traditional to less traditional it could also be that you're moving. I don't know. I kind of get the sense, honestly, though, that you're moving into a more traditional phase in terms of a relationship, more solid phase. For some of you, um, we're having, I don't know, I'm going to pull one more actually here for love because this is kind of an interesting combination. What's it saying about love this week? Yeah, there's a lot of progression. Um, so... <clears throat> I almost feel like within the traditional, if you've been looking for a more traditional relationship, you have you need to be ready to leave behind the past year, learn some new things, and work on a relationship pragmatically and practically together in the material, in the now, in the 
and however we can work on it. It's putting a little bit of physical effort communication in as well. Six of Swords and Eight of Wands. You are slowly, if for those of you who have been wanting to move on from a relationship, you are moving on here. And there's a lot of movement forward if you're willing to let go of what you were holding on to and slowly and intelligently move forward because you know you deserve better. Could also be that, you know, we have a mentor or an older person with us here that's like, hey, why are you hung up on this person? Time to move on, time to move forward. Let's go on here. Um, however, the hero font, especially with the high priestess in the same reading, you're very spiritually inclined this week. You're very open intuitively and even in so, even in terms of relationships and love and how you're seeing that. So feel your way through it. You'll be able to move on, communicate better, um, whatever your desired angles are in terms of love. You know, we can look at this from a different approach not only intuitively but also in the material and you know how did we deal with this before what would this person do kind of way so we're using kind of two areas of our psyche two areas of our psychic you know muscle here when you get the high priestess and the hero font i mean that's a lot of psychic energy that's a lot of growth in that area there um and again it just feels very spiritual concern you know concern with your spiritual beliefs and and, and acting through how you're feeling into the real. So that's kind of how I feel here. Your intuition is going to dictate how you do things this week and you should let it. It'll help you move on. It's going to help you bring you to where you need to and help you communicate and move forward within your relationships, okay? Um, your advice for the week here is the world. Don't be afraid to complete situations, to bring things to a close and to be ready to open up a new chapter. A lot of you guys, I feel, are opening up big new chapters this week. You've got some really big cards here um, with the Hero Font, the High Priestess, the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, Six of Swords. These are all cards that have a lot of positive connotations and movement forward here and show a lot of prosperity and success as we enter a new chapter. You could you might need to celebrate at this time as you move forward into something greater. It's happening very quickly and it's getting you where you want to go. So be ready to embrace these changes, to be open to it and to have an open-mindedness to all this situation right now, okay, and everything that's coming in. All right, adaptability is the name of the game. Let's pull a Lynn V. Andrews Power Deck card for you guys. Let's do that for you guys this week. Ooh, popping right out perfection dream your dream your passion fly away go through the hoop of your innermost fears and desires meet them and conquer them what pain from childhood have you not dealt with move into the wound of your most secret fear and find the seeds of wisdoms that are planted there face what upsets you the most it is a great teacher give whatever is holding you back insecurities ego fear of failure or of not being loved fear of being alone and be reborn into a new state of perfection so there's a lot of fears of releasing them here. And um, I love that we have the world here and the world there. So that's really beautiful. And that feather, which is, indicates flight with that eight of wands and the six of swords, which both talk about moving forward. It's a really beautiful message for you guys. Um, so Sagittarius, I hope you um, enjoyed your tarot reading for the week. Do check out your weeklies um, for your other placements, especially your rising, okay? And thank you guys so much for all of your support. Do make sure to subscribe, share the video. Um, if you want to book a private reading, guys, all of that information is always right below in my description box. And again, I'm taking 20% off of all of my readings right now um, just to help out during this whole pandemic global situation. Um, do check out Truly Divine. They are an incredible astrology and numerology service. They do analysis just for yourself, for your life path number. They also do compatibility analysis for numerology as well as come um, astrology and the astrology one was just like I mean they were both incredible but I am still I still am going back and reading it I started rereading my own astrology analysis this past week again and it's just incredible so do check them out guys you can get 30% off with my code DQ30 you can use it as many times as you want you don't just have to use it once you can give it to as many friends they can use it so do take advantage of that they are the best astrology and numerology analysis system I have ever used and I get readings and I've had analysis done by people in person for astrology and numerology and they just blow them all out of the water so definitely check out their services. I'm really impressed by them and I'm really happy I get to work with them. So check that out, guys. Make sure to subscribe and um, have a wonderful and blessed week. Alrighty. Namaste.